Hey guys, welcome Hello. back to my YouTube channel. I'm so excited to actually be bringing you guys another travel vlog. It's been a long time. It's been a long time coming. Far too long. Far too long. <laughs> um, but we are coming from you today from Venice. <gasps> so exciting. It's a bit of a weird one, isn't it, Joe? Because we actually booked to go to Mykonos for yeah. my birthday. And then obviously the whole situation happened with the Greek authorities and they were like, you can't actually fly to the 15th. Otherwise we would have had to isolate. Yeah, it was all a bit weird. Time. So we basically got in contact with our flight people and they were like, the best thing to do is like go somewhere else and then leave from there. So we were like, well, where can we fly from? And one of the options was Venice. So here we are. <laughs> happy accident. I'm very happy about so it. So we're going to spend two nights in Venice and then head off to Mykonos. I was actually so surprised at how easy it was to get here. The airport was weird, but like not. It was busier than I thought it was going to be. Yeah, it, it was, was actually. Our flight was like fully, fully packed. But yeah, everyone's just like wearing masks and there wasn't really... It's a bit weird when you're actually in the airport. Like we went to the lounge and there's no like buffet. You know, you know, you have to like order everything is all done on those like QR codes, which by the way, blow my mind. They're awesome. <laughs> They're mental. Um, and then when we arrived to Venice, we got a water taxi. I've got some footage here, so I'll just put it over the top while I'm talking. But the water taxi was unbelievable. There's one thing that we would say, it's a little bit of a, it, what's, what's the word? Uh, unnecessary. unnecessary it's an unnecessary expense. It was 120 euros to get a water taxi from the airport. But <laughs> we were saying it's actually like, um, it was such an amazing can't, thing to do. Can't really do it anywhere else. No, that's why we did it. We were like, this is a silly amount of money, but where else can you basically get a water taxi into a city from an airport? So yeah, and as you guys can see from the footage I'm putting in here, like the views were amazing. We had this really cute taxi driver who was giving us a little tour along the way. It was very, very cool. So anyways, we just arrived to the room. I haven't, we haven't had a look around yet. I'm saving it for the vlog. No. So we'll go give you guys a little room tour. We're staying at the H10 Hotel, um, and it's a great location. We're on Grand Canal. No. Grand I don't Canal? know. I'm not sure where we are, but... The Grand Canal. I'm excited. The main, the main anyway, let's, street. Anyway, let's have a look around the room. <laughs> the main street. So, come through the door. There's like a bathroom room in here. She's got some very, very sassy wallpaper. Nice big mirror. And then into here, which is like the living living area sort of situation, full length mirror. I feel like I always judge a hotel on whether they have a full length mirror because a lot of places don't and it annoys me so much. And then through these doors is the bedroom. It's actually so nice in it. This hotel is done up so nicely. I love the colors. I was saying to Joe that when I was trying to book a hotel here, a lot of them were like old school, um, which I'm not a massive fan of like really, really, really old hotels. And then it's got this balcony <gasps> which has this view oh my god how amazing this is insane and then this is our balcony view this is amazing what do you think pardon I'm loving it, loving it. I, I know out, have you not saving a surprise for you oh cute thanks how good it's class. i know it looks absolutely i wasn't expecting it to be like so canally. Oh, I know. I said to Joe though, they look a bit scary. <laughs> we are gonna have to go on one though. This is when you know you're traveling during coronavirus, when you turn up to your room and they've got free masks, a hand sanitizer, but we also have welcome chocolates. This was the mirror I was talking about, guys, in my recent favorites video. As you can see, it turns basically any table in a hotel room into a makeup table because there's just never anywhere sort of good. So this was obviously what was there. And um, don't mind the mess. But yeah, it's just such a good mirror to bring with you. It's honestly amazing. So that's the Ricky Ricky mirror. What's happening then? Are we ready so we're now off, oh, finally. It's taken me long enough to get ready. Um, so we're gonna go and explore Venice. Woohoo! My dress is from Bershka by the way, I bought this just before I came, but I'm obsessed because it's got like a really low back. I'm also rocking a bucket hat, which I'm still not convinced I actually like. I'm doing that thing, you know, where you just put it on and Joe's telling me I don't look like a complete numpty, but I feel like one. I think you look good. But I'm going to wear it anyway. So, we literally left the hotel, we walked about five metres and then we saw this place and thought... No, it was recommended by the hotel though, I don't know what it's called. It's called something, I'll we'll we'll tell find you afterwards. It, but um, we haven't eaten since like three o'clock this morning. Yeah, and it's a good spot right on the canal. Pretty picturesque, I'd say. Joe's found the name of it, do you want to say it? Um, yes, it's called La Porta d'Agua. Well, that's very good. Yeah. I've been trying to learn some Italian while I'm here. Yeah? Got, uh, have you been here for like four hours? Yeah, I've only got... <laughs> Is that what four. you were doing while I got ready? Yeah, it's just uh, 
doing some speed reading, <laughs> catching up on my Italian. Recipe. What's it, Rosetta Stone or whatever it's called? Rosetta Stone, yeah. Put the headphones in. <laughs> I wondered why you were so quiet while I was getting ready. No, but I'm planning to be pretty good at this and Greek by the end of the trip. And Greek? Okay. I was like, why do you want to be good at Greek? I can't even remember my own holiday. Burrata, tick. Wild, yeah, I know I want the burrata for sure. And a lot of pasta. This I'm gonna just eat pasta for every meal now that we're here. Great little way to pull down the glass about here. I know, it's very sassy. So we've got this sharing bottle of beer. It comes like a wine bottle, it's amazing. Thank you. You're welcome. Yum. I'm actually in food heaven. Italian food, I'm sorry, but there is actually nothing better. And look how dreamy that pasta looks. The light's a bit weird on it, but... What was it, like some sort of seafood carbonara sauce thing? Yeah. And obviously the best thing ever invented, burrata <laughs> and parma herb. I love how I'm like vegetarian most of the time, but I literally announced to Joe that as soon as we got here, I was not going to be vegetarian. You're going to do something really dreamy. How good that is. Oh. Burrata is actually the most amazing thing ever, ever made on the planet. Oh, wow. Mm. That looks insane. Ready to get stuck in. So ready to just eat everything. <laughs> Holiday calories don't count. Throw that out there. Where are we? We are walking currently, about to walk up. Halfway up. What was it? Like the fam most famous bridge? The most famous bridge. Built 500 years ago. From what I can remember. 400 bridges in Venice though. 400. 400. That's what we learned today. This is the main one. Yeah. And it was restored for the first time last year in 400 years. Oh, you really were listening. I was listening, yeah. <laughs> Slightly concerned because Sarah wants to take me down this alley. Find oh, Google Mapping, Mac, because there's always a forgotten something as well as makeup setting spray. So first things first, we are going to buy makeup setting spray. Yeah, and we're going down the uh, the only alley in Google Venice with Maps, no people. This is where it is. Oh, there's a little bar there. That's nice. See? This is how you actually stumble across really fun things. That's true. Although I'm technically following the map, but fine. We're walking okay. through to San Marco Square. Is that what it's called? Yeah. Okay. Um, Does it look how empty wow. it is? That's weird. That's that um, cafe. There it's it like is. For, for Apparently it's unbelievable. We've been recommended it to go and get like something. Something I don't know what. And that's exactly what we're going to do. So we think normally this would be absolutely packed. Well, they said they told us today when we got to no, but who said it? They would got the taxi guy. Yeah. So there's like 30 million tourists that come here every year, and they're only expecting three million this year, which is mental. This is a shame as well because he said so many businesses are suffering. It's really sad. So we're here to help. We're gonna let's just invest. Let's just go to every single cafe and buy one drink. <laughs> So we didn't actually go for a hot chocolate, which is what we were supposed to get, but it's a bit too warm for that. So we've got a glass of wine and a beer. I'm one of those weirdos that has to have ice with their wine. I don't know if that makes me, I don't know if that's like something to be judged or not, but wine has to be really cold, really cold. But we're sitting here just thinking, oh my God, I can't believe how empty this place is. It's just crazy. I mean, I, was expe I wasn't expecting Venice to be busy, but I wasn't expecting it to be this quiet. Yeah, we've got it all to ourselves pretty much. Yeah. Look what we're doing. It's happening. Beautiful. Thank you, sir. Oh, Jesus. Oh my god. I think I'm too heavy for this thing. You're going to like tilt it. Well, that's quite I think they're like very cleverly, you know, it's like they've got like a good balance to them. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> this is our noble steed. So we're officially on our first continent. We've done it. We have done it. I've taken my hat off for the ride just in case. Slightly windy. Don't want Joe to do any swimming today. No. Fishing out the bucket hat. Yeah, you would actually. I would probably cry as well. It would be emotional. And we were just saying it's very peaceful. It's a peaceful way to tour around Venice. We've got a guy in the background. Yes, there. this is our wonderful gondola driver. <laughs> He's learning all about it. His name. Yeah. Yeah, it's very nice actually. What we waited. Federico. 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 Um, we waited until a little bit later though. It's like what, quarter to six now because it was yeah. hot during the day. Right, and obviously they don't go very fast, so <laughs> could get quite warm. This is so nice. Everything here is so old, so this church is 500 years old. It's just mental. There was also a building here that's a thousand years old. Crazy. So we have come to the rooftop bar of our hotel. Yes. Which I'm so glad we've actually done because it's unbelievable. It's more than we were expecting. This hotel, honestly, I mean, I know we haven't slept in the beds yet, but I would 100% recommend it. The location is unbelievable 
and the rooftop bar is amazing and it's just great like it's, it's just so nice yeah i don't know it's just really nice and like modern and but yeah good vibe up here all around it's a great vibe but we'll show you guys the view because it's, a, it's amazing so this is the view from the hotel rooftop bar i mean views don't really get much better than this that's the one thing of Venice, I think it's just the views. The views are amazing everywhere. Everything, you go around a corner and you're like, oh my God. <laughs> Me and Joe have taken so many pictures of bridges one. today. They all, look just, they all look very similar, but... But, but each one's unique and you have to take a picture of them. <laughs> Sarah's off the beer and she's onto the cocktail. I've got myself a peach impression. There's only so much beer I can do in one day, you know? It's actually delightful. It looks delightful. I like that it's come in a pint glass. <laughs> Maybe they just knew that I wasn't ready to give up a pint glass just yet. We are just heading back to the room to pick up Joe's phone before we go, go off for dinner. But I was just saying, honestly, this hotel just feels so brand new. Like, the carpets are basic, I mean, apart from that mark. That mark just played me. I was out here trying to say that the carpet looked brand new and that mark's just played me. But it does genuinely look... You're wearing a mask as a beard warmer. I know, well. So we're now heading off to dinner, which we're very excited about. Yeah. I can't wait to get there. The restaurant, the restaurant? The hotel basically told us that it's one of those like not very touristy places, but the food is unbelievable. So hopefully we'll it will be a good vibe. We'll never take their word for it. We left. shall see. Oh, okay, down here. Tough to navigate these streets. Yeah, Joe's not good at directions in a normal setting, let alone in Venice, where I everything's know. really Actually, small. Actually, I am good in Venice. I've been leading us around. <laughs> That's what he says. That's what I let him believe. <laughs> okay, Venice at night is officially my favourite because all these little cute restaurants have their lights on. And those are little gems that we keep stumbling across. Okay, but let's go find our little gem. You know that alleyway that Joe was having a go at me for taking him down later? Now look at this one. <laughs> There's like, I honestly, Venice is like a maze. It's definitely, oh, God, <laughs> someone's home. It's obviously, um, Google Maps is definitely needed out here. I'm hoping when we come to the end of this alley, though, there's going to be... The restaurant. We have been walking for a while. We are two minutes away. <gasps> two minutes. Guys, he's taking me to a gondola passage. I'm not even joking. He's taking me to an empty... <laughs> no, we're coming back. Come on. You fucked it. You were the one who said, this alleyway looks more fun. It was more fun. Well, it wasn't more fun, because now we've got to walk all the way back. There's gondolas on <laughs> Oh, dear. Even your directions. I swear to God. <laughs> What did you just say? Classic case of Venice. Joe's decided that that was a classic case of Venice. You couldn't get more Venice than walking down the wrong alley and ending Literally, up. hasn't even been here for 24 hours and just decided that that's a classic case of Venice. <laughs> <laughs> to be fair, actually, yeah. Where else, where else is that going to happen to you? One minute now. Huh? One minute. Surely, surely it's yeah, over this it. bridge. Oh, that is it. I remember Googling it. That's what it looked like. Okay, so we have made it. This is the name of the restaurant. We almost went to the wrong one. But you got it right in the end. This is where I do the food vlog a bit, guys. I'm gonna vlog every every course. Look at this. It's very fancy. Turbot. Turbot and something. Chip with something. Basically, this place is like famous for its seafood, so everything's slightly fishy, which is great for me right now. So our starter has arrived. I've got the clams, scallops, mussels, which I just absolutely am obsessed with. Joe's got the octopus with gazpacho, which looks unbelievable. It really does. That also is one of my favourite things ever. All fresh. We've also got our red wine and they freshly bake their bread and pasta and everything like in-house. I'm very excited. Okay guys, the pasta course has arrived. Oh, it's very noisy. Um, and I've got ravioli. Joe's got, what was yours? Like pasta um, with squid or something. Fish, yeah. it looks fish with unbelievable. We've got the squid ink in there as well. Some more, oh that's what that black stuff is. Some more homemade bread, but I am so excited to eat this. It smells unbelievable. This is when we need like you to be able to smell it through the through the lens. <laughs> Joe's boomerang, he's got to get the perfect moment. That's why there was a dramatic, oh no. You can do it again. This is real Instagram problems over here. Go on, give it a good whack. A real good whack. Oh. oh, I don't think it's supposed to hit it. <laughs> no, he said, he said, give it a good whack. Okay, no, he did. I no, one doesn't want me to hit it. Okay, fine, don't whack it then. <laughs> Is it not very whackable? <laughs> <laughs> I think that's what he wanted. I think he wanted some sort of like real aggressive, like whack kind of, yeah. That is, hands down, the best hotel hairdryer I've ever used in all my life. I judge places on their hair dryers, and that one was unbelievable. What happened? I don't know, it's just amazing. Your hair looks glorious. Doesn't it? I feel like I've had a blow, up, blow dry and all I did was just put my head upside down. Looks lovely. Ah, <sighs> oh, good times. Let me get ready now. Joe's currently, what you can't see is Joe's sat in bed basically fully clothed, ready to go. And I'm just like, 
pottering around, getting ready. Look at her potter. <laughs> I'll be quick though, I won't put like makeup on, I'll just put some BB cream on. So dinner last night was unbelievable, wasn't it? Incredible. It was so good, honestly. Like, it, it was all mainly fish and seafood, so if you don't massively like fish, it's probably not your vibe. But we love fish, so it was right up our street. And the guy who owned it was amazing. What was his name? Maurizio. Maurizio. He's like so passionate about his restaurant, which is just nice to see. But we were listening to him talking about like coronavirus and how it's affected his business and it was like really sad, wasn't it? Yeah, it was tough. It's just like... He said it was, Venice only relies on tourists. There's not, there's no locals here. So when it shut down, there was like not a single person on the street and it was... And they were just, and obviously because Italy was on like major lockdown anyway. He was sad. Yeah, he was sad. He was saying how oh, it's going to take like three to four years for the, for Venice to recover and much like other places in the world, but... <sighs> Coronavirus, hey? The food was great. But the food was unbelievable. So good. Especially considering we walked to the wrong place and sat down. <laughs> that was your fault. That no, was my fault. Literally sat down and I was like, Joe, this isn't the name of the restaurant. And we had to get up and leave and it was really awkward. Oops. Oops. Good morning. <laughs> so we spotted this little cafe yesterday and Joe was determined to come and have a coffee here this morning. So that's exactly what we've done. Because it's right next to the famous... Rialto Bridge. That's the one. What's the name of it? Yeah. It's quite the spot. Very it's picturesque. Glorious little morning coffee by the bench. Right next to the water. Literally, I almost fell in. <laughs> yeah, Sarah almost took a tumble straight away. So we're currently getting ready to go to the Venice Lido, which is the beach that's kind of opposite Venice like city. Um, and I'm wearing these shorts from Pretty Little Thing. They're like the long line denim shorts. This is just a beach shirt from Misguided that I've just sort of tied in the middle. It's really, I really like this one actually because it's got like oversized sleeves and then the cuffs are quite big. And then I've just got a white bikini on underneath. This one is, check I'm not flashing you guys. This one is from White Fox. Um, so yeah, so we're going to go head over there, have some lunch. And then we've got dinner booked over there as well, but we thought we'd do something a little bit different um, than just sort of walking around the city again today. Because I didn't even realise that Venice had a beach. Joe's found this out, haven't you? I have. You're the reason that we're going to this. So it's on me if it works, and it's on me if it doesn't. A nice t-shirt. Just realised that you're wearing my one. Turn around, give us a spin. So this is one that I had in my uh, vlog with the recently, guys. This Happy Days one. I do love the print on the back of it, though. I get a lot of serious. Spin. I no, I need to see the back. No, 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 like stay. Yeah, that's it. That's so cool. Yeah, you do get a lot of my oversized t-shirts, hand-me-downs. Or stealing them. Beggars can't be choosers. <laughs> this is my new obsession. I got this beach bag from ASOS. It was like, so cheap. It's basically just like one big like piece of material. It's got like nothing sassy about it, but I love the size of it. Perfect for a day at the beach. <laughs> Didn't know what to expect. No, I know. Now we just have to find, find the beach to have somewhere to eat because we haven't actually eaten and it's like two o'clock in the afternoon. So that is the number one priority. Yeah. Have a little explore. So we walked for a very long time yeah. and then we found the hotel that we were looking for. We're in the Hotel Excelsior. Yeah, this is, our, this is our lunch view, the beach, which is very nice. Did not expect anywhere to have this sort of vibe in Venice, but no. here we yeah. are. We had a little stroll. It was a long stroll. It was a long stroll, but it was worth it. We found what we were looking for. Yeah. It was a risk, but it paid but off. It paid off, I know. And now this is, this is exactly the view that we wanted, so I'm happy. The absolute essentials arriving, <laughs> of course. Joe's, Joe's essentials. Here we are. Oh, what unbelievable is my pasta? Oh my god. Mm. It's dreamy. It's like just pesto pasta. I'm so excited. But I've also got food envy of Joe's. Um, uh oh. 
also had one beer and it's gone straight to my head because I've not eaten anything all day and it's now three o'clock in the afternoon. <laughs> it's gonna taste extra good then. Yep. First bite. Oh, it's just, I honestly like pasta, just makes me happy. It's because in, you know, unless you can like taste that it's homemade, it's like chewy but in a good way. Success? It's so good. So we've got some <laughs> cabana situation going on here at the same, what's the hotel called? Excelsior. Excelsior, yeah. Um, and yeah, we get this, <laughs> it's like old school beach up. <laughs> Little changing room through there. It's really bizarre, and then you get your sun lounges. And then we've got our sun lounges. Looking out there. There she is, <coughs> living her best life. These are the most comfortable sunbeds I've ever laid on. They sort of dip in, don't they? They've got a mattress on top. They're so soft. They're glorious. So he's going to go for a swim in the sea. Oh, okay, right. He's, he actually is running. <laughs> I did say, can you run to the sea? And he's in. I was pretty sure he just face planted the sand, but that's fine. Oh, no, he's up. It's okay. How was that for you? It was good. Yeah? Quite hard. You went very far out. I didn't look that far. Yeah, you went far. really far out. Really? Yeah. I was wondering how far out you were actually planning no, on going. Today. Yeah? No, it sounds good. So we have just got to dinner and we are eating at this one here. <laughs> well, it's Villa Laguna. I don't know what this place oh. is called. I said gel. I think this must be the restaurant of the hotel. Yeah. What's it called? Villa Laguna Hotel. Yeah. Um, but the view is unbelievable. So the sun is setting. This is just going to be such a nice little little spot to watch the sun go down. Our first course, Joe and I are having scallops wrapped in bacon. This is actually one of my favourite foods. Yeah, we normally, you love it as well. We normally mix it up, but we both love scallops too much. Yeah. So one wouldn't have been enough for us. No. Hey, Joe, what are you having for dinner? Well, I'm having the sea bass. So <laughs> Look what's just turned up. We just left it here as well. No, surely you have like a plate or something. I think, well. Message left it for me Why is it so big? It didn't say for like two people, did it? <laughs> Meanwhile, I have a yeah, very, place, very so. amazing risotto in front of me. Turns out I've actually ordered for two people. <laughs> so Sarah's gonna have some of my fish. And then, just once again, <laughs> have another look at that. Oh yeah. <laughs> We've become real view people. We are actually view, real view people. Yeah, we are. Yeah. Very, we're people who like views. Funny that. <laughs> that does look amazing. We didn't get pudding at the restaurant because I wanted ice cream because we haven't actually had it yet, which was very sad. So we found the first ice cream shop and we stopped off. Yeah, Naturally, Joe's there. getting a giant one. I wondered why Sarah was walking so fast. And she said she was worried that ice cream shops were going. Yeah, I got really worried because we leave tomorrow morning and I hadn't had an ice cream. It's very, it's a very important part of an Italian holiday, you know. So hazelnut ice cream is the best thing ever invented. How good is it? It's just as good as I remember. Glorious. It's literally the best flavour. It's so good. How nice. The Nutella one I'm going to get next time if we get another chance. <laughs> Basically, Joe saying by the time we've actually walked home to our hotel, um, if they're still open. Oh my god, I almost fell upset. <laughs> if they're still open, you're going to get another one. I think so, yeah. Yeah? When you I'm already gonna... got two flavours, Greedy. We came back to St. Marco Square because Google Maps was taking us through it. But this time it took us really close to the... Basilica. <laughs> and it's actually unbelievable close up. At night is when it looks so pretty. It's got like mosaics like, on, the, on all of the paintings. It's so detailed. It's so big. Why did they build things like this so long ago? Pretty glorious. I'm glad we came back. <laughs> Enjoying your ice cream now? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> fully, fully going for it as well. It's great. All right, well, you carry on now. We'll just have a little more, another little view of this beautiful no, church. Home. Okay, we're off. <laughs> we're off. Good morning. <laughs> so it's, you look so sleepy. <laughs> I am sleepy. It's our last morning here in Venice and we're sad but we're also very excited because we're going to Mykonos today <laughs> i'm so excited actually can't wait um but that does also mean that we are going to finish this vlog because i feel like if i was to do venice and Mykonos together we would be looking at like an hour and a half vlog so i thought i would separate them um so anything that i've sort of spoken about in this vlog like all the restaurants that we went to 
the hotel that we're staying at, all that kind of stuff. I'll make sure I'll put all the names in the description in case you missed any of them. Um, but yeah, they're all, they've all been amazing. And if you do come to Venice, I can't recommend this hotel enough for everything. Like, it's been really good. <laughs> so we're gonna get up and pack now, um, which is gonna be fun. This is Joe's get, get Psyched in the Morning music. Old school 50s just come out. I was watching my friends play a video and now I'm impressing Sarah with my rapping. Yeah, you really are. This is like Joe when he was super young. <laughs> We're officially ready to go. Ready to rumble. Ready to rock and roll. <laughs> Make an ass. Here we come. Um, yeah, so we're going to end this vlog here, guys. But thank you so much for watching. I feel like I should demask so you can actually see what I'm saying. Um, thank you so much for watching, guys. And we will see you in Mykonos. <laughs> Bye, guys.